Hey guys, William here. Welcome back to Junie Lion Williams Adventures. We are going to be leaving the Philippines tomorrow, headed back to USA and Pennsylvania. Guys, in this video, we're gonna let you know what you need to do when you're exiting the Philippines after living here over six months, guys, so that you're not caught unaware about the paperwork that's needed. So guys, we'll be back in a few minutes and talk about exiting the Philippines. We'll see you then, guys. We'll talk about it. Hey guys, William here. From Junie Lion Williams Adventures and we want to talk a little bit about what it takes to leave the Philippines if you've been living here for longer than six months guys. It's gonna be a short video but that's what we wanted to talk about. As some of our followers and subscribers know I'll be leaving the Philippines tomorrow April 4th heading back to the Philadelphia area in the United States for a little while until I return. Until then Junie Lai will be holding down the fort doing some lives, doing some things, and I'll also be doing some podcasts with her from the United States, doing some interviews with some other people there and showing you some sites and some things that you maybe haven't seen in the U.S., in the Pennsylvania area, guys, Philadelphia area. So look forward to that, guys. But I wanted to talk about what it takes to leave the Philippines after you've been living here over six months or more. I've been living here nearly two years, so there's a process that you have to take uh, when you're exiting the country, guys, and I wanted to make those that are unaware aware of that process. Uh, number one, you have to get your plane ticket, guys, because to do the rest of the process, you need to have your plane ticket with your flight number, seat number, because you do have to do e-travel uh, to leave the country as well as come into the country guys you got to sign in with e-travel give them all the pertinent details and you have to get uh, a code but once you've done that that will pop up on your phone you're able to do that 72 hours guys before your flight leaves also you need to have an exit clearance and that exit clearance can be had if you're in the Cebu area at G Mall at the immigration's uh, office on the second floor uh, in, in the Manila area, I'm quite sure there's a main immigration office there, but you have to accomplish the exit clearance, guys. And guys, let me tell you something about the exit clearance. You need to get the exit clearance about two weeks minimum, I'd say, before your flight leaves. Because there can be holdups in that process and you don't want to wait to the last minute. You have to get fingerprinted, and that would be both hands. The biometrics need to be done. You need to make sure you have all the updated information about your extensions if you're here on a tourist visa, uh, your passport in order, and you have to go to the immigration office, guys, and accomplish that. Then they're going to keep your passport, guys, for a minimum of about two to three days, possibly. Um, and you'll have to return, in most cases, to pick up your exit clearance. That's granted that nothing, no glitches come up. So as you see, you want to give yourself at least seven to 10 days, I'd say 14, because uh, the exit clearance is good for 30 days. So when you have your flight number, your flight date, and everything with your flight, accomplish that exit clearance. You I think you have 30 days to use it. So you want to be within seven to 10 days in case something goes wrong, guys, uh, with the exit clearance. Guys, make sure that you do those things or else you will not be able to exit the country, guys. And you know, a lot of times here in the Philippines, what can go wrong does go wrong. And so it's better to have more time in between something going wrong than being at the last 11th hour, guys. I had to go back, uh, we had to go back a second time to pick up the exit clearance, guys. And we were unaware at first of the biometrics and the fingerprinting. And so those things need to be done. So guys, 
Those are the things I wanted to tell you about because a lot of times it's the little things that get us caught up. Make sure you don't overstay your visa, guys. Uh, that's what I always like to say here at Juni Lion Williams Adventures. Make sure you pay the money to extend your visas because they're going to be looking to see that you were here legal the whole time that you were here, whatever that amount of time is, that all your extensions were up to date if you're here on a tourist visa. As I'm married to Juni Lee, next time I, when I come back, we'll be getting the 13A, so that will make it a little bit different. Um, and that's the marriage visa for here in the Philippines. So guys, remember, when you look at our subscription or description on our channel links, we have Filipina visa. If you're looking for a way to bring your LDR back to the U.S. or you need information from an agency on coming to the Philippines and doing visas in that direction, uh, look in our description. Philippine visa is an excellent source. They help you from start to finish. Also, we have safety wing travel insurance for those of you guys that are coming on vacation. And of course, as Junie Lee always says on our live, if you're looking to meet a Filipina, the LDR, long distance relationship, we have Christian Filipina in our description, guys. Avail yourself of any of these links through our channel, and we will appreciate it, guys, because we endorse what we use. We use Christian Filipina, we use safety wing travel insurance. So guys, also, in our description, if you want to buy us a cup of coffee, if you want to donate to our channel, we appreciate all those that already have. Uh, we're, we're sending out thank yous to all you guys that have donated to our channel, which is growing. And we want to continue to give back valuable information to those that are transitioning or those that are coming to visit on vacation to the Philippines. And also, we want to take you along on our adventures we'll be going on when I return. Uh, to different islands and take those that are home but want to see exotic places we're going to take you with us thank you to all our channel members if you want to join junie lee and williams channel look at that join button push that look at the different levels guys uh you have silver surfer the first level the gold member second level and also junie lee and williams uh team uh, that would get you private conversations with us some levels it's text other levels it's face-to-face -face conversation which some of our members have availed of and we help them get transitioned to the Philippines. We help them get accommodations when they were coming on vacation. So look in the links, guys, and avail yourself of these things. Once again, remember the process if you're leaving the Philippines and you've been here over six months. Make sure you go after the exit visa at least 10 days before you're leaving. A minimum of that, guys, because that exit clearance is good for 30 days. You have to, within 72 hours, guys, Go through e-travel. Make sure it's not a fraud website. If they're asking you for money, that's not the web, uh, website. It's totally free. And it's not hard. I accomplished it in about 10 minutes, if that. So guys, once again, this is William at Junie Lyon Williams Adventures saying, don't get caught unaware. If you're leaving the Philippines, that's the process, guys. And make sure you go through the process and don't be rushing to the last minute. Guys, we'll see you from the USA. Tomorrow, we'll probably be there doing some videos by the 5th or 6th. Junie Lee will be talking to you on her lives. And guys, what we want to say is thank you, thank you, thank you to our supporters, our subscribers. And we're going to continue to bring out content that we think will help you, the travelers, on Junie Lion Williams Adventures. Till then, guys, we'll see you next time. And remember, enjoy every day because tomorrow is certainly not promised. See you next time, guys.